I mean, what I, what do I like about them? Everything, you know, from the LTD up to the custom shop, you know, they sound amazing. They play amazing. And the consistency is second to none. You know, like I've always said, like, you know, in all of my time out with Slayer, Warren could pretty much hand me whatever guitar he wanted to and I wouldn't complain. Me, it's just more about, you know, which, you know, finish or graphic or whatever I chose for this particular particular song or the tuning the guitar happened to be in. Obviously, you can't just hand me something that's not tuned right. But, you know, like I would be perfectly happy playing any of them. You know, it's like they're just perfect all across the board. And the LTDs, too, I play them all the time live. and. I've seen people like, wow, he actually plays those. Oh, they must be totally just fake LTDs. No, they're real LTDs. There's nothing different about them all whatsoever. You know, even if uh, you know it's got a different paint job or whatever, it's just the same thing anybody could buy. I don't yeah. know. I just always they've always been a striking color combo to me, and you know, and I, I can't lay claim to have them been the first to lay eyes on it i'd seen it in another certain guitar mm -hmm. and i always like coveted it and just looked rad and it just pops you know and like and having red and black triple pop ply binding is just killer i didn't know they made such wondrous things you know <laughs> but it just looks killer you know mm -hmm. i love it you know it's like in pickups are those things that like took a long time for colors to catch up Maybe I had something to do with that, you know. It used to be black, chrome, gold, or white, you know, and that's about all any options you had. And now, you know, I see a lot of people putting red pickups in their guitars, you know, and stuff like that. I just, I like the look, you know, it's just a really dark wood, you know. I like rosewood too. I like maple for like killer rock licks, you know. Maybe I'll have to get one made with a maple fretboard. But, That'd be um, cool. Yeah, you know, ebony is such a nice dark, dense wood. You know, it does. It feels good on the hands. You know, I like rosewood and ebony, but the ebony being almost you know black makes the binding, the, the inlays really pop out. Um, access, you know, you could reach the twenty second fret. Yeah, you just you know, I want to like reach those frets without any um, obstacles. You know, and uh, and um, you know, having a big blocky heel there, you know, it's something to get around. And I don't have big giant hands, you know, to like wrap around those things. Like I watch guys, you know, shredding on Les Paul Customs, which has the least accessible heel on earth. But, you know, I own a few, you know, and I love the guitars, you know, they're like violins and they're killer, but you know, I can't reach those things, you know. So I just wanted that, that smooth to where, you know, you just feel unencumbered on your way up the neck. Who wants to have something get in the way? E to E. <laughs> e chord to high E. Who, who, I don't need to go anywhere other than that. You know, if I want to go higher, I'll pull it up with a, with a bar. Uh, you know, I'm, I think maybe it's showing my age, you know, even though, I mean, I'm not so old that, that I missed the 24 fret, you know, um, era. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I grew up on... I grew up playing strats, which didn't even have 22 frets, you know, they had 21. You had to like bend extra to get to that high E. And, you know, Gibsons and, and everything at the time, you mostly had 22. And that's all I want. I don't want the guitar to be longer than it has to be. You know, I'm a 22 fret guy. I don't, never like 24 frets, you know. Especially 24 frets moves your neck pickup closer to the bridge, you know, and you lose some of that thickness, I think. It just makes it sound a little bit more like a middle pickup because it is moving it closer to the bridge. And, you know, that's why I use the 89R because the single coil is on the, the neck side of the the humbucker when you tap it. You know, your regular 89, it's, it's on the other side closer to being a middle pickup. Mm -hmm. You know, I want it to sound like the neck, you know. Away to sleep. I mean, you know, in Slayer, I never use other than sound check when jamming around you know <laughs> every once in a while I'll pop it up for a solo on there you know but um it's the options you know like for exodus you know if we were doing something with a clean tone i'm always going to pop that thing up because you know a single core sounds to me so much better 
to my ears, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, why not have, you know, an additional tone in your guitar, whether you use it all the time or not? You know, I mean, those things, I can make them sound quite a lot like a Strat. Considering totally. it's a, a modern two humbucker guitar with a Floyd Rose, it's about as far from Strat as it gets. But, you know, you can get pretty funky on the thing, you know? Floyd, my hand's been on Floyd Rose forever. I don't use too many hardtail guitars. I mean, you know, I did on the new album a, a bit, but usually it comes down to just, I've spent my whole musical life with my hand, right hand on a floating trim, you know, it's like, and uh, that's where my hand is most comfortable, you know, is the, the feel of the bridge, you know, it's just flat and smooth, you know, and you know, I don't have issues pushing it out of tune because I've been playing them forever, you know, only one thing I know, really. Divided, yeah, um, on the album, the ESPs I used, um, I used my Gold Top Custom, and I used that, um, that uh, bolt-on strat you sent me, uh, what do they call it? Snapper. SM1000. Yeah, I use that because I wanted, I like tracking on a bolt-on some, a lot of the time. And so anything that had a whammy bar, I use that on mostly, you know, other than a couple of things. You know, I had you guys scallop at the extra distance, you know, and it had the passive pickups, and I like tracking on passives as well, you know. Um, and it was super shred-alicious, you know. <laughs> it was just a super mm -hmm. bendy, like, bolt-on neck. I shimmed the neck up a little higher, like I always mm -hmm. have with bolt-ons, you know, to get the bridge up a little higher and put a little angle on the neck, you know. And, um, yeah, it was killer. It sounded great and played amazing. <laughs> Keep your eyes out for uh, the next Gary Holt model. It's going to be pointy <laughs> and dangerous. It's a stab, stabbing weapon for sure. <laughs> um, the general simple answer to the question of why do I play ESP guitars is they're the best. And I'm, I mean that. I have a, you know, I have a lot of guitars. I have uh, got a lot of guitars, and um, they're better than anything I own. The, the, like if I really like, you know, I might have this emotional attachment to this one, or this one's great. And this old thirty-something-year-old guitar is great. The ESPs are better than all. Of them.